This tutorial is going to be how to use QuickTime Player X to record your desktop screen and yourself through your EyeSight camera or whichever camera you have connected to your computer. What you're going to need for this is a Mac, QuickTime Player X, and you might want to get the system preference app called Secrets. There will be a link in the description for all of these. Um, if you're running Leopard, just upgrade to Snow Leopard. Again, another link down in the description for that. So before you start your recording, you want people to be able to hear you on YouTube. So you want to go into your system preferences. You want to go to sound. Uh, you want to go to the input tab. Make sure your input volume is a little high. Launch a quick so uh, QuickTime Player X, okay? And nothing will come up. You just have your options up here in your menu bar. So you want to go to File. I'm going to do a new movie recording. This is going to get your EyeSight camera. And as you can see, mine looks pretty bad because my EyeSight camera was shot with an airsoft gun. Um, click on the annotation to go watch the that video. So you click Record to get rid of these the the black parts here, the toolbar and this little player thing right there. Once you move your mouse out, it'll take that away. You can make it a different size if you want. You won't be able to edit it like you can in ScreenFlow, but you will have it there. You can throw it, say we'll just throw it down here in the corner of the screen. Okay. Then you want to go to File. You want to do New Screen Recording. And then you click Record. Um, you're going to have this little arrow right here. You want to click on this arrow. And your microphone, you want to put built-in microphone, or whichever microphone you're using. Okay, and then you get these options right here. It turns on... Okay, don't turn your volume up at all. Um, quality is set to high. And then you're just going to do record. And then it says click stop recording in the menu bar when you're done. Or you can do command, control, escape. So I'm going to do start recording. And then you can see up here in the menu bar it says stop recording. Um, you can also have multiple uh, movie recording windows like this. So you can have yourself all up here. And I will show you how to do that real quick. So what we're going to want to do, if you go to file... You see new movie recording is grayed out right now. So this is where the system preference app secrets comes in. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my system preferences here. We're going to go over to secrets. You want to download it first before it shows up there. We're going to go down to QuickTime Player. And then up here it says allow multiple simultaneous recordings. We're just going to check that box there. You see it says you may need to quit to see changes. So we're just going to quit it. That will automatically quit QuickTime for us. I'm going to review the changes. I'm not going to keep this video. Okay. If you go to File, New Movie Recording, and then File, you can do New Movie Recording again. And there is two. Um, I do believe you can have as many as you want. Uh, you want to know how I just made it full screen. I'm um, using a little application called Cinch. I found by watching a video by Soldier Knows Best. Cinch is pretty cool. But anyways, so there you got two of them. You can have as many as you want. Um, it will be a little laggy the more you get. Command Option N gives you a new one. There you see. Now you have yourself up there. And I'll just do a screen recording. Okay. So there's the audios there already, so we don't have to do that again. Just start recording. And now you see I'm recording my desktop screen. This will be in high definition, so you can upload it to YouTube in high definition. And when you're done, you want to do Command Option Escape. And if that doesn't work, just click Stop Recording. Here's your screen recording. This is going to come up real quick in just a second here. So here's my recording here. You can do full screen right here in QuickTime. You can play it. I'm just going to turn the volume down a little bit. Recording, and now you see I'm recording my desktop screen. This will be in high definition, so you can upload it to YouTube in high definition. Okay, so you have right here, you can trim it, you can put it to iTunes, your mobile me gallery, or you can put it on YouTube. If you want to trim it, you can do that. You can only take away from the, the beginning and the end. So once you're done trimming, you just click trim, and it's done trimming. Okay, if you want to edit it a little bit more, um, we'll just get out a full screen here. And you want to go to File, Save As, and I'll just save it to my desktop here. Okay, screen recording 122. Okay, it's format as a movie, so we're going to save. If you want to share it with YouTube, you can just go right there to YouTube if you don't want to edit it at all. 
you need more. Then you click on YouTube, and then you put in your YouTube name, your password, you click sign in. So after you sign in, you're gonna get it's gonna a window that kind of looks like this one right here. Okay. And you're just gonna want to go through and fill everything out. Your title, we'll put Good Time Player X, description. If you're doing like an app review or something, like you're doing I alert you app review, you just put I alert you app review. Okay, you um then you just describe it down here. This is a review of the Mac application I, I alert you or whatever. Your tags, you're gonna put I alert you and tags are basically whenever someone searches YouTube, um, if they search for that word, you want your video to come up. So you you put like Mac, Mac apps, Macintosh applications, Mac applications, Apple apps, you know, just anything that has to do with your video goes in the tags. You can choose your category. I always use entertainment or how to and style for mine. Uh, you got different ones here. You can share your video with the world or you can do private and then you just click upload and it'll upload it to YouTube. If you want to come straight to YouTube and do it, you just go to youtube.com, click on the upload button, and then you upload video. You find your video where it's at in the sidebar, my desktop, there's my screen recording 122. Click select, and then you do the same thing. Okay, and then just click save changes and automatically put it up there. Okay, so I'm going to cancel this one. If you want to edit it some more, you've seen I already saved it. You want to go to iMovie. If you're on a Mac, you should have iMovie. Okay, just open up your iMovie. You're going to want to go up to File. You go to New Project. Okay, you choose whatever you want here. I usually just do None. Okay, you create. You see all this is blank down here. You go to File, Import, Movies. You're going to find your recording. Mine's on my desktop. It's screen recording 122. So I'm going to import it. Should be pretty quick because it's not that long of a movie. It says less than a minute. Time remaining less than a minute. And there it is. It's up here now. So you can just right click on it and drag as much as you want. And then you're going to make sure it's all highlighted. Bring it down here to the bottom. You can start editing it in iMovie. There's a lot of things you can do. You can make an intro. This is my intro video up here. If you want to test it, you just press the space bar. Um, you can add music, you can do all kinds of things. You got your options right here. You can click. You got your precision editor, clip trimmer, clip adjustment, video adjustment, audio adjustment, cropping rotation. I personally do not have a video yet on how to use iMovie. It's very extensive. There's many things you can do. You got your options over here to add music. You can add media. Um, Add transitions right here. You can add text. You can add pictures. And this is how I make my intro. I just add text. You click on uh, find the one you want. If you just hover over it, it'll show you what it does. And then you just drag it to where you want it. You want to drag it to the very beginning over here. Choose your background. That's my background. And then your text goes up here. You just click. Okay. And then you can just test it out if you want. There you go. You want to add music? You just add the music you want. Okay, this is my music that I made. You can drag it in here, so it's just for. You see, it's gonna play through the whole thing. You can adjust your music if you want. Audio clip, clip trimmer. If you want to make it smaller you want it to end at a different place or start at a different place um, I will eventually make a tutorial on how to use iMovie search YouTube I'm sure there's plenty of great ones out there your videos should show up to YouTube uh, as high definition we'll just go check real quick because I did actually upload one a second ago so go to my videos and you see it says screen recording 122.movie HD so when I click play and go watch in HD. So, this is a, if you have QuickTime X, it's a quick way to do it. Uh, YouTube takes a little while to process the videos, and that's pretty much it, guys. If you got any questions, any video requests, or anything? Just let me know. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Till next time, peace.